Hey there, SGM. Looking good today. Oh, you seem confused. What are you working on? Anything I can help with? Let me help you. Maybe we can go grab some dinner. Don't worry about it. Nothing that your poor spatial resolution could distinguish. Man, that's harsh. A simple no would have sufficed. Hmm. Well, at least my world isn't so flat. You know, I can get a 3D service profile that would make you waddle. <laughs> well, I'm traditional, and my methods don't involve copying a feel on everything I touch. My electrons beam excite. Oh, you think you're such hot stuff. My worldview isn't contingent on frigidness and death. I can look at organics. You do more than look at car organics? And at least I coat my samples in special treatments such as gold and carbon. I care about appearance. At least my mother keeps her lens clean. Ouch, that hurts. Why are you so mean, SEM? I feel like you don't know the real me. Why don't you just give me one chance to show you the merits of my groundbreaking ways? Fine, but hurry up. I actually have things to do. Let's start from the beginning. My measurements are taken using a small tip that measures interactions between it and the surface. Aha! I always figured you for a small tip. Oh, touche, but you know what they say. Size doesn't matter, it's how you use it. And I can definitely use it. For example, I can measure a variety of forces from the interactions between the tip and the surface. Electrostatic forces, magnetic forces, mechanical forces, and even atomic bonding. Big deal. I'm time-tested, true, and the hottest thing in microscopy. I shoot a beam of electrons into or through my sample, which would turn to me in a way that gives a high detailed visual image. You can't do that, can you? Well, no, but I can do something even better. I have at least four different scanning probes that can all be used to obtain different properties. Really? Prove it. You've got it. First, I have a direct probe which allows me to measure the bonding forces between the tip and the surface. Well, why on earth would you need to do that? So I can measure the bonding forces between different types of atoms. Here, take a look at this picture. In this image, I show the presence of tin, lead, and silicon atoms by using the color code blue, green, and red, respectively. This dwarfs anything your topical method of measurement is capable of. Who cares? A color-coded picture is child's play. Well, that's not all. I can measure long-range interactions using an oscillating cantilever. Also, I can use a magnetic tip to detect variations in oh, force. Oh, come on, AFM. You and I both know that your resolution is abysmal. But it's improving. Take a look at this image of a primarily thin film. The reference marker distance here is 7 nanometers. I can improve the resolution of my image from between 50 nanometers to 200 nanometers to as low as 5 nanometers by removing the amount of magnetic material near my tip. Is that it? That's still not very impressive, ASM. No, I'm just scratching the surface. I can use my harmonious nature to measure the surface potential of a sample. This is extremely useful for a variety of different reasons, including developing maps of different phases of composites, measuring behavior in differently terminated self-assembled monolayers, measuring voltage drops at interfaces in operating electronic devices, and measuring ferroelectric domains. And this is my most exciting capability. Take a look at this. With the help of my real friend, Scanning Tunneling Microscope, I can operate in non-contact mode to measure interactions between dangling bonds, which could yield information on work function, electron affinity, and ionization energy. <sighs> You're boring me. I'm not done yet. I also have third order capability that can allow me to analyze frequency dependence, lateral sample perturbations, or even interdependence of multiple properties. Take a look at this image of a carbon nanotube. Using a static tip surface bias, the valence band energy of the defects in the nanotube can be obtained from the second harmonic measurement of the tip. You could never hope to accomplish anything like this. That all is pretty good stuff, AFM. And by good, I mean still painfully beneath me. Oh, another barb in my heart, SEM. Tell me, what makes you think you're so great? Well, first of all, I can model more accurately organic things. Even if I do have to kill them first, if I coat my sample of organic tissue with a graphite coating, I can take an extremely high resolution image. For example, look at these two pictures. One of the muscle tissue and one of the SARS virus. Look at that resolution. Pristine. My spatial resolution can go below 0.1 nanometers. Ah, you have SARS? If I would have known this, I wouldn't have come up to you. No, it's an image, you dope. Oh, I see. Well, what else? 
I still don't see why you're so great. Well, I'm versatile. I have a bunch of different operating modes for a variety of different applications. I have a backscatter detection mode that can detect areas with different chemical composition. I have an electron backscatter diffraction mode that can determine crystallographic structure. I can detect secondary electrons. I can de detect x-rays. Jeez, I can go all day with this. Oh, I bet you could. Oh, shush. Look. I don't mean to keep harping on size, but a fact is a fact. My image area is on the order of square millimeters with a depth of field on the order of millimeters. Your scanning area is only about 150 by 150 micrometers, and your maximum height is only 10 to 20 micrometers. Who cares if my image isn't truly 3D? I give a much better image and a supreme 3D model of my sample. I mean, take a look at these fiber reinforced composites. This model is infinitely better than your actual 3D surface profile. What do you have to say to that? That is pretty nice, actually, SEM. You know what? I think that you actually are essential for the nano manufacturing field. I mean, achieving high resolution images and characterizing size of nanomaterials is fundamental to the field. Perhaps you were right. Perhaps you are too good for me. Oh, ASM. While you are correct that I am very, very important to the field, I feel that because you represent the new, exciting ways of obtaining information on a variety of properties, you really are at the forefront of the growth of nanomanufacturing, and you are getting better every day. Oh, I see him. You mean it? I suppose I do. Now let's put our efforts together. I have a new, unknown sample that needs characterizing.